Hey there guys, my name is Sahil and welcome back to another session of your Innovators Launchpad course. Now in this uh, session, we are going to start with something entirely new. Uh, we will start uh, programming with Avishkar Maker Studio or AMS for short. So Avishkar Maker Studio is basically a programming software, uh, programming tool that we have developed in-house here at Avishkar, uh, which is used uh, to, you know, program our own uh, products like the our robotics kit or maker board. So uh, in this video, uh, we are going to learn how to use Avishka Maker Studio uh, to actually program Maker Board. So this is uh, the Maker Board that we have discussed a little about earlier in earlier video also. So uh, again, I, so most of, obviously most of you or all of you probably don't even have the Maker Board with you right now. So how are we actually going to learn programming this board? So there's very there's a very uh, interesting feature available on the online version of AMS, which is simulation. So simulation is basically you know uh, just to explain the term simulation, it means uh, you know replicating the results of physical world into a virtual world. So that is what we are going to do actually. You don't need an actual maker board to uh, learn programming it. You can just use the simulator which is available online, and you can you know uh, program most of the functionality. Uh, on the software itself and you can run it on the simulation and see what you know exactly it will look like when you uh, actually program the maker board so it's a great learning tool there are tons of possibilities with it and uh, you know we're going to start with uh, that now so the in this project in this video we are basically going to learn how you can create your own uh, animations and run them on maker board so maker board basically has these uh, you know these uh, this led matrix which allow you to uh, run uh, display some text on it uh, allows you to uh, you know create different types of games and uh, you know create animations also so that is what we are going to learn in this video we will uh, you know create our own code to run a very small very simple animation on the maker board so without wasting any more time let's start okay so guys as you can see i have uh, opened up the avishka.cc website so simulation uh, is available uh, the functionality of simulation is available on the online version of ams which you can use uh, access uh, through our website only so just go on to avishka.cc and uh, click on sign in so you have a couple of options over here if you don't have an avishkar account you can create an account by clicking here uh, if you already have an account just uh, you know enter your phone email username uh, whatever you remember and uh, you know you can log in with that otherwise you can just use google or facebook uh, to log in onto the website so for this video i'm just going to use my uh, google account to log in on the website So once uh, you know you have logged in on the website, you will see that this uh, AMS uh, button is available to us now, right? So uh, when you click on AMS button, this will basically open up the online AMS uh, where you can actually you know program and uh, run your simulation for Maker Board as well. So I'll tell a little bit about the uh, the tool itself uh, before we start uh, with the programming part. So like on the top left, this is your menu area. So, you know, you have like basic options like, you know, open up a project, uh, start a new project, uh, save a project, undo, redo, all those kinds of things. Uh, then we have different modes for different products. Uh, for this video, we are only concerned about the maker board mode. Then you also have, uh, you know, a little bit of uh, option to personalize the tool. Uh, you know, like you can change the theme to your liking, whatever, you know, you find uh, good for yourself. Uh, then this is like the the main center area is your workspace uh, this is where you will actually uh, you know create your uh, program uh, for the maker board uh, on the bottom side uh, you have like different blocks and different uh, uh, tools so uh, these are the blocks that you know you will use to uh, program uh, the maker board so you know we won't go into uh, a lot of details about what each and every block means uh, uh, for this video you know as and when we use the blocks we will learn a little bit about them so you basically have you know uh, uh, all the blocks uh, around the functionality of maker board like i told you there's an onboard matrix so you have a display block to use those functionalities uh, you have the bluetooth so maker board has an on onboard bluetooth on it so you can use the bluetooth section for that it has a buzzer so you can use sound section for that so all of that stuff is you know all those blocks are available uh, over here and then the uh, uh, the most important part probably is this uh, simulate button over here so when i click on simulate 
uh, you can see that it opens up this or pops up the this window and you can see that there is actually a maker board uh, displayed over here and this is where you will you know run or test your program so once you have created a program just uh, click on this play button and your program will start running uh, we will see it in action as in when you know we create the actual program so in this video we are basically going to uh, you know create animation uh, on the maker board so maker board uh, the software by default uh, you know has uh, some animations let's see what uh, options do we have over there and then we will actually learn how uh, you know we can create our own animations uh, to, to, to basically start off uh, in programming uh, programming in AMS, the first block that you need is uh, the my program block from control section. So just drag and drop this my program block and then you can you know start creating your uh, program in this my program block. Then what we can do is uh, we have we go to uh, go to this display section and I'll just scroll a little. And you will see that we have this block, uh, show animation block. So just you know, drag and drop this uh, block inside my program block. And then from the drop down list, uh, you can select what animation uh, do you want to play. So for example, uh, you know, let's uh, select traffic signal. And um, with this, you know, like a very basic program for your maker board is ready. You can just, uh, you know, try and run this once. So I will click on simulate and hit the play button so you can see the animation uh, it ran and it only ran once because we just uh, you know have like this one block over here it ran once and then it the program ended there's nothing more to it uh, if you want to run your animation infinitely like continuously then you have to go to loops and you need to drag this repeat while true block all right and then drag the show animation block inside this repeat while true so what loops do is basically if you if there's any task that you want to put it uh, put in a loop or you want to like repeat continuously you put that task uh, inside your while loop uh, repeat while true loop so right now we have added our show animation block in the repeat while uh, loop and uh, once now we uh, now when we run the simulation you will see that it is continuously running it doesn't stop it will continuous uh, continuously uh, you know keep on running so I'll click on simulate now and hit the play button. You can see it's continuously running now. It's not stopping uh, anywhere in between. Okay, so this is how you know if you want to uh, run something for uh, infinite time, uh, you can use the repeat while true block. Let's see a few more animations. Like we have this clock animation over here. So you can see like the hands of the clocks are displayed and you know they are uh, just it's rotating uh, around on the matrix. Uh, we have like this wave animation. So it creates like a Mexican wave kind of a thing. So these are like the default uh, animations or default blocks uh, that you have in the software, the default animations in the software. But we don't want to do that. We are actually going to learn that how we can create our very own uh, animation on the maker board. So I'll remove this uh, show animation block and I'll go to the display section. And there is this uh, very exciting block at the end, show LEDs. So if you uh, notice, uh, basically all these uh, pixels that are available to you. So this is like the uh, matrix on the maker board itself. So maker board has a five by five matrix. So five uh, this uh, vertically and five horizontally. If you like, if I click on simulate, you can see. So five vertically and five horizontally. So in total, there are 25 LEDs or 25 uh, pixels, if you will. So uh, you, you know, you, all you have to do is just like select a color let's say i pick up red and just click on the pixels that you want to illuminate in that color so if uh, if i want you know all these pixels to like glow in red i'll just select all those red now if i want to change my color let's say i want blue and i want the uh, these outer pixels to appear in blue color then just I, i'll just you know select all of them uh, uh, and then you know they'll turn blue if you want to, if you have, uh, you know, selected a uh, pixel by mistake, then just click on it again and it will uh, again, you know, go black or go dark. So it will basically be turned off. 
and then through this value you can actually change the brightness uh, of the LEDs that how bright it will appear so it's in percentage so 0 to 100 uh, I'll put 100 for now so this will basically you know glow them uh, in the in maximum on maximum brightness now when I click on simulate and run uh, so you can see basically all those pixels that I selected in red are glowing up red and all those that I selected in blue are uh, glowing up in blue color. So this is how basically you know you can use uh, show LED blocks, uh, show LEDs block uh, to you know create like custom patterns on the matrix. Now what is an animation? An animation is nothing but a collection of different frames. Uh, this one show LED blocks, it's basically like one frame and when we add multiple uh, frames one after the other, this will basically create an animation of sorts and and we uh, to do that we just all we need to do is like we just uh, grab go to the display section and we can you know just drag another show LEDs block and you know just uh, uh, create whatever pattern that we uh, want to make all right. So what I'll do now is uh, we'll actually you know start by creating uh, an animation. So uh, you know let's create like a, a person doing an exercise uh, doing like jumping jacks or something. So we basically have to create like a person kind of a figure on this matrix now. So I'll select uh, let's say I select the yellow color or the mustard color and with this I like create the, uh, the face uh, of the person then let's uh, select red for example to create like the torso or the body of the person and then I'll use uh, again use uh, this let's say I again select mustard and with this I can create the legs and then I uh, use this to like create the hands if you want to like change the color let's say from uh, to like differentiate between hands and uh, legs you know I can change that so like if I want uh, my hands to like let's say appear like in green color so I just select green and you know re-click on them so now when I click on simulate and play okay so you see it's it's a little bit dark because I did I forgot to change the brightness so I'll put 100 over here and now when I click on simulate so you can see like whatever we draw uh, we drew on the uh, show LED block we can see that uh, over here now what we want to do is we want to like create a, a jumping jack sort of an animation all right uh, so to do that we will uh, grab another one of this uh, show LED block and put it below this and then we will basically create our second frame uh, so second frame could be like you know with the with the hands down and the feet uh, the legs still open so i'll try and keep the basically the similar color scheme so i've created the head and the feet then the body and then we can uh, create the hands Okay. I skipped one pixel uh, yeah all right so what we have done in our second frame we have brought the hands a uh, little down now uh, then in the second frame uh, so I can just you know copy and paste this block right uh, now uh, to do that right click on the block and click on duplicate now we have another uh, show LED blocks so let's edit in this block only uh, now for the third frame what uh, we'll do is uh, let's uh, let's close the feet also now all right so I'll select uh, yellow color mustard color only and I like uh, you know I'll turn these off and like create uh, this like a closed feet kind of a, a frame and then in the sec uh, in the fourth frame I'll just again duplicate this I'll select green color and I'll you know close uh, close the hands down further even further okay and then uh, this will I think will be our last frame and in this frame I'll uh, like close the feet also completely 
okay and one more thing that i have to change is i have to add uh, change the brightness i have to set all of them to 100 otherwise it won't be like uh, visible properly so you can see brightness i have set to 100 now let's uh, you know try and run this once so i'll click on simulate and hit the play button so you can see that we can uh, we can see a jumping jo uh, jumping jack sort of uh, animation on the screen now right like the hands are first on the open then they close down a little then the legs close down a little and so on and so forth but uh, i think so this animation is running really fast right now i want to you know slow it down a little what exactly do i mean by slowing the animation down i basically need to add some time uh, in between every frame so to add time what we'll do is we'll go to this control section and we have this weight block so what i need to do is i need to put this weight block uh, between every show leds block so i'll put the first one over here now this uh, takes value in milliseconds uh, so basically one second is 1000 millisecond so if i want a weight or if i want a delay of one second i will put 1000 if i want uh, it let's say like uh, half a second then i'll put 500 milliseconds uh, but again i think 500 milliseconds will be a little too slow so i'll uh, you know put 250 over here and then basically i just need to uh, put this block uh, between every frame so i'll just uh, go to control drag another one of weight block set time to 250 or you can just you know copy paste uh, you can just use uh, you can either use the duplicate uh, button over here uh, or otherwise you can just use your uh, keyboard shortcuts control c to copy and control v to paste So after every show LED is block, we have basically put a weight block. Now let's uh, run this once. So you can see there is uh, there is a little bit of time in between every frame. Now if you if you feel like you know decreasing this time further, you can decrease the value in the weight uh, block. Uh, if you want to increase the time you can you know in, in fact increase uh, the time uh, as per your uh, requirement so basically you know and since all of this is in this repeat while loop uh, this animation you know keeps on running so that is how you can you know very easily create your own animations you have uh, so basically the possibilities are limitless when i talk about creating an animation you know this is just one of the examples that i have shown you right now uh, you can uh, do much more with that you can like create a uh, and to to see some examples you know you can obviously just go to display and uh, see all those options that you have in the uh, show animation block you can see all those options run them so that you get some inspiration out of them and you know you are able to create uh, your own animations so uh, yeah that was all about this video guys i hope you guys had a good time you know feel free to experiment with it there are tons of options like i already told you uh, you know there's plenty of new things that you can create uh, with the with the online version of ams and you know you can just simulate them on the software and see uh, you know how it will actually look like on the uh, physical board so thank you for watching this video guys i'll see you again next time want to get hands on with the actual maker board and maybe if you want you can you know create your own variable devices like a wristwatch uh, that can play all the custom animations that you have made or maybe you can you know create a necklace kind of a thing and use it as a name tag just go on to our website avishkar.cc and buy the iot starter kit now and join the course